ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಪಾಥಾಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿತಾಂ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣೇನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿತಾಂ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನೀನಾ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿಣೀಂ ಭಗವತೀಂ ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿನೀ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಧಾಮಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭಗವದ್ವೇಷಿಣೀ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮೆಸೇಜಸ್ ದ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಮೆಸೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಸ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ now we are in the 10th chapter of the vibhuti yoga nama adhyaya and we have been saying how lord krishna bhagwan krishna in his uh, in series of verses were explaining how uh, although everything in srishti everything in creation is his manifestation he is specially so manifest in some things where you can identify his extraordinary glories he was giving a long list of all that and he was saying how in the previous shloka 33 he was saying aksharanam avakarosmi and the akara of all the aksharas because there's the first natural swara which emanates from a baby's mouth and and the dvandva samasa of the samasa although there's a samasa coming together the two words remain independent and ahame vakshaya kalah and of all the finite time beyond the finite time that is the calculable time like day night hour minute Uh, past present future all these beyond all this there is a akshaya kalaha beyond all this there is no tense there is no limit to that and i am that akshaya that infinite time and dhataham i am the lord i am the nourisher and vishvatomukam i am everywhere i am everything i am all surpassing all compassing he continues into the 34th shloka and says mrutyu sarva harashchaham udbhavascha bhavishyatam ಕೀರ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀರ್ ವಾಕ್ಚನಾರೀಣಾಂ ಸ್ಮೃತಿರ್ಮೇಧಾಧೃತಿ ಕ್ಷಮ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಸರ್ವಹರಶ್ಚಾಹಂ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ವಹರ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಕಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಗೋ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡೆತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ವಹರ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಡಸನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಅ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ಲೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಯು it's it it just puts a full stop there's no comma it's a full stop everything is a stop the body falls down so everything stops the connection with this world with uh, with our relatives our dreams our uh, property our movable and immovable properties anything and everything everything stops abruptly so mrutyu sarva harashchaham i am that great power of death which ends everything any time any moment nobody knows how that happens to anybody any time udbhavascha i am also the udbhavascha bhavishyatam of all that has been created of all that has to be created i am the udbhava i am the creation i am the power that creates everything back from nothing i create everything and this all this created i can abruptly stop it i can bring death just dissolve it any moment any time i am both the power of creation and the power of dissolution then he tells a very beautiful thing he says in all the women in all the females kirti shreer vakchana rinam smritir medha drati hikshama i am the kirti shrihi vak and smritihi medha drati hikshama he ends some very very beautiful um, virtues and he says i am the shri i am the kirti hi i am the great eminence in women there's a special uh, a woman who has understood what she is a woman of substance need not go and beg for being uh, recognized beg for her rights beg for anything she knows how to carry herself she knows how to uh, grow outgrow herself she knows how to grow above everything and uh, get her due uh, eminence she is eminent not because she is uh, artificially trying to be famous put her name across and, and uh, market herself all these things we don't need a person who grows by worth will automatically get recognized and even if, if it is without recognition no problem a few people who are really um who can who can recognize worth if they appreciate if they understand that's more than enough and this kirti this eminence in women you know it is not about just being famous eminence means a good uh, character being known to be good a good image a good Um, a good uh, emanating grace having a good um, what do you say an aura carrying a nice positive aura um, to be kind of captivating to be dignified majestic 
and uh, the moment you see such a woman you know it's a pay, it, uh, you feel like doing namaste so that kind of an image in women is me say shri krishna this is something which every woman must work hard to manifest and this doesn't come from artificial somersaults to become something to be acknowledged to be recognized to have fun uh, demanding commanding all this galata no it comes from tapasya it comes from developing one's innermost worth so eminence in women is me he says a woman who has manifest that eminence because of her tapasya her worth her hard work her learning her uh, great character and her great virtues uh, that great kirti hi is me in women shri hi shri refers to uh, prosperity so prosperity and uh, fullness substance it is not about just material prosperity it's about the substance of her personality her talent her confidence her purity her honesty her uh, purposefulness her uh, clarity of thought her her commitment to values her commitment to her family her capacity her leadership her uh, her uh, kriya shilata kartritva shakti netritva shakti and her matritva shakti her motherly affection her purity of conduct there are so many things which make a woman very very special and to realize all that to manifest all that all that is called shri that is why every woman is called shrimati you are full of shri even a man is called shriman so the shri is very very important shri hi itself is a strilinga padam and that is lakshmi herself lakshmi is called shri so the shri in women that nobility that the greatness the purity in women is me the substance in women the prosperity in women is me says shri krishna then he says walk erudition the keep the capacity to speak right speak with clarity to uh, present in the right way and to have clarity of thought to have the scholarship to have the content to have the preparation to speak the right thing in the right way uh, with relevance at the right point in front of the right people all these are a very great it demands a lot of viveka discretion so not waste wasteful talk and gossip uh, do not they actually waste our energies but where there's a lot of conservation of mental energies and lot of hard work and very very uh, regulated lifestyle there the words of a woman carry a lot of command in fact in the bharatiya sanskriti knowledge is uh, taught knowledge and values and insights are put across are conveyed to the uh, people through three main media they say one is prabhu samhita mitra samhita and kanta samhita prabhu samhita is like the veda upanishads they have an authority like prabhu means king kingly ordinance satyam vada dharman chara swadhyayam ma pramada ityadi so they give you a strict uh, and a very clear simple dictate to do what to do what not to do but mitra samhita picks up the prabhu samhita elements and weaves a beautiful story some example from history some example from life some anecdotes and presents it like a friend tells a uh, tells us what to do what not to do what is good what is not good what could be helpful where to invest uh, whom to believe and all that uh, like a friend the uh, puranas and the stories they support us now coming to the kanta samhita the third one is like poetry poetry or like the sweet words of a kanta of a woman of the uh, wife particularly or it, it's also sometimes called matra samhita so she, the elegance the beauty the the naya the aesthetic flavor added around the niti is so beautiful it's like a sugar coating around the pill so what a woman can convey to her man what a woman can convey to her children what a woman can convey to her family what a woman can convey to the society with her own gentle very uh, unassuming and loving caring style is much more effective and impactful than what a man can tell with authority power is not about just loudness and being very uh, assertive outside power can manifest as softness and uh, beauty and dignity also and that is what we see in women so she's walk the walk of naris is very powerful so it can influence men it can influence the societies and she can be very powerful if her particularly when her walk is uh, backed by the content knowledge and with her good insights and a good life and good purity of conduct smriti hi smriti is memory 
uh, to be able to retain retention, memory and grasping uh, all these, the power to um, uh, hold in the mind, to internalize ideas, to internalize knowledge, to internalize jnana, to internalize vidya, to internalize values and keep them, uh, make her uh, intellect rich and present it at the right time, the right way. So this smriti and also awareness of who she is. Smriti is also being aware of who she is. For a moment, she should not forget who she is. If she gives in to weak instincts or cheap desires, for a moment, if she forgets the eminence, the greatness, the, the dignity of her uh, presence and she thinks cheap, then she is really going to be in trouble. So we should train our young girls to think in a dignified way, carry themselves in a dignified way. Atma uh, Swabhimana, a great respect for oneself, not arrogance, but respect. That is being aware of who I am, who is watching me, who is treating me in what way. Be aware, be relaxed of course, be always aware. Never give in to anything cheap. That is Smriti. Medha. Medha is a power to think beyond. We call a very genius person Medhavi. There is a Medha Nadi here, they say, at the back of our necks. And it is supposed to be dormant and by practicing Brahmacharya, by practicing a lot of Tapasya and Vidya and doing Guru Shushusha, doing a lot of um, very ardent uh, uh, practice and study, the Medha opens up. And once the Medha opens up, the power to grasp something becomes hundredfold or thousandfold also. The ordinary brain can grasp, grasp something, comprehend something, but a Medha, Medhavi can grasp the same. In and out of that, he can grasp the Yatartha almost 100,000 times better. So that is a Medha Shakti which we all should aspire to develop within us. And in women, it is specially so manifest, says Shri Krishna, it's really an honor to women. Dhritihi, Dhritihi is stance, fortitude, to have that uh, uh, kind of resilience, to have that kind of perseverance, the, to have that kind of a patience and all that. Um, uh, a tranquility which makes us very strong from within. Strength is not about just physical strength, but the inner strength, the tranquility. That is Dhritihi. And then Kshama, the capacity to love. Kshama comes from Kshama. Kshama means to be tranquil, place it always silent and calm. It's like the huge ocean on the seas. It's apparently very, very busy. On the top, you see so many waves and tides and uh, even tsunamis coming and going. But you go deep inside the waters, you see it's absolutely calm and calm and calm. It is so vast, so wide in quantity and quality. So it's absolutely calm. So to have the Antaranga inside so calm and so vast and so dignified gives us the capacity to have Kshama. We don't react to every small thing, every petty thing. Oh, give it back to him, say it back to him, do this, do that. And get agitated about and agitated about everything, anything. Always being the hangover of some grief, some desire, something that happened, something did not happen. To waste our mental energies thinking of all these cheap things, which keep happening in the life anyway, there is no choice. But we waste our time reacting to something which doesn't deserve that much of our time and energies. Instead, if we can, just forgive and forget. Yes, somebody says something, somebody does something, I gain something, I lose something, there is a happening. But there is something else much bigger within me, which I have to explore, I have to express and I have to achieve, I have to give to the world something beautiful, noble before I go. So this kind of a very dignified understanding of life gives the capacity to forgive and forget. That is called Kshama. Kshama is not just, okay, I have no choice, I forgive you, not that. Kshama comes from a very, very large heart, that of Sita, that of Draupadi. They were never disturbed even in the most trying times of their lives. So there's a very beautiful sentence which Shri Krishna says, I think every woman should write it and memorize this and try to live it in her life. Kirti Shri Vakchanari Naam, Kirti Shri Vakchanari Naam, Smritir Medha Dhritihi Kshama. In the women, I manifest especially as Kirtihi. Eminence, Shrihi, uh, Substance, uh, Vak, Erudition and uh, Smritihi, her uh, um, uh, remembrance and her uh, bearing and uh, Medha, her uh, erudition and her uh, uh, intelligence, acumen and Dhritihi, her fortitude and Kshama, her capacity to love and forgive and sustain. 
So these are very great qualities. If a woman has it in her, she'll be the best mother, she'll be a good wife, she'll be a good neighbor, she'll be a great achiever, she'll be a great leader, she'll be anything great because these are the qualities which we never get from outside. They have to just ripen and come from within. And she, Bhagavan Shri Krishna says, I manifest specially as these in women. It's such a great saying. I think it's only in Bharata Varsha, in the Sanatana Sanskriti, that such great thoughts are given for us to think. Such food for thought. A woman should think on these lines. It's not about just uh, being appreciated, being recognized. Uh, okay, that's there, that's the outside world, but what are we inside? To be strong from within is very important. To manifest what we have uh, within is very important. And that is what Shri Krishna is telling us. So these are very lovely words which we all should understand. What the Arsha Samskriti, what is the height of an Arsha Samskriti? How loftily they thought, how loftily they understood the ideals of a woman. So what Shri Krishna says next in the 35th Shloka, we will see in the next episode. Namaste Jai Shri Krishna. टीवी विक्रमा नेशनल भारत भाग्य विदाता सब्सक्राइब टीवी विक्रमा नेशनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक बेल आइकॉन बटन एंड सेलेक्ट ऑल नोटिफिकेशन